So this is the double-edged safety razor, and you can take it apart. You have your cover, your blade, your bottom. Now, I've been designing a model for one. I have my handle, and this was printed on the Photon. But the top cover, that won't work. And that won't work. But this one, I did a 2D erode using Photoshop to load all of the slices from the Photon Slicer and remove a three pixels in a radius. And it may be hard to see, but this one is three pixels on all around smaller than this one. So that does fit. And if we take this bottom part, you can see that it fits on this one. These pins have to go through. But if you take the one output from the Photon Slicer on its own, that doesn't, that doesn't fit. These pins won't go in, all right? And I tried different exposure times, and it's true that you could use a shorter exposure to make the part slightly smaller, but that exposure is not optimal for the curing of the resin. So the optimal exposure for this may be 12 to 14 seconds, but as you get down to eight, 10 or fewer seconds, you run into problems with um, the parts just not being the right plastic hardness. So what I'm asking for is a feature that's already in the popular Simplify 3D software called horizontal size compensation. And what it does is allows you to set a plus or minus size compensation in the X and Y axis only. And that will allow this printer to be used for very high precision parts that normally you need a much more expensive printer to do. But right now, it's very hard to use it for that. Right now, it's really only appropriate for things like printing figurines and crafts, but I want it to be able to be used for high precision parts. And then people can use it for product development.